Before I start, I want to apologize for my colossal fuck-up in my last episode. Magnalworks number 954 wasn't actually named Titan. It was just advertised that way in the catalogs. My bad. Moving on to our first rebrand character. Well, I certainly think there's room in Sir Tom Matt's fleet for a VR standard, and it might as well be one with a unique wheel arrangement. I've gone on record long ago saying wartime engines make good candidates for female locomotive characters, but all the BR standards were built after World War II, and I'd hate to leave any of them out of the running. As the spaceships were the next step up from Robert Riddle's experience designing the WD Stroke 10s, my ideal 9F character is female. Yes, isn't life tragic? <laughs> I haven't settled on a name. She can keep the BR1G tender, I don't think a Fowler style one would be compatible with a BR standard. I'm thinking she was built in early 1957, before the class started to get double chimneys, and she's got the air pumps halfway along her running plate for working opera wagons. That's what I'd like her main function on Sodor's Railway to be. Coal deliveries to the various junctions and changes for branches and narrow gauge lines dotted along the main line. I'm sure I'll cover my ideal Hector one day. Personality-wise, she's very pessimistic. She's been in and out of scrapyards for months. She was withdrawn and then quickly put back into service because there was nothing suitable to take her place. Then she was bought privately from a breaker's yard, but was sent back because the buyer didn't realize until too late that she was too long to go down his sloping driveway on a low-loader lorry. Finally, she's been liberated from Barry Island, is waiting for the next time she gets decommissioned, and slowly comes to accept that Sodor will be her new home forever. If you liked hearing my point of view and seeing my edits, leave a comment saying which character you'd like me to cover next. 